Hi guys, Marcus here and welcome to Chinese Entertainment Update, September 20th, 2019 edition. It's been three days since my last video instead of the usual one or two, so there will be more updates and I hope you guys are ready for it. Make sure to watch till the end where for your convenience, I do a recap of all the dramas with premiere dates. In this edition, Lucky's First Love, Military Dramas, Tiffany Tang's Happy News, and What's With All The Hate For Rising Stars. But first, The Legend of Fei, the costume drama starring Zhao Liying and Wang Yi started filming recently and here are some casual photos taken on set. Don't you guys think Zhao Liying's look is a bit similar to the way it was in Princess Agents? Either ways, I think they both look good in ancient garb, and hopefully we'll get some official stills soon. Zhao Liying plays Zhou Fei, a child from a prominent family who runs away from home and meets Xie Yun, who saves her in a chance encounter. Three years later, they meet again and embark on an adventurous journey through the pugilistic world together. The drama is directed by Wu Qingyuan, who also directed Princess Agents. Lucky's First Love is an upcoming modern drama starring Xing Zhaoling and Bai Lu, and since my last update, they've announced a premiere date of September 25th. Xing Zhaoling plays the modern-day founder of a gaming company, while Bai Lu plays a gaming designer who works for him. In the story, he coaches her on how to find her first love, but through it all, falls for her instead. Xing Zhaoling was recently in Blowing in the Wind with Eleanor Lee, while Bai Lu can be seen in Arsenal Military Academy. It will be interesting to see how the two stars click as it is their first drama together. Lucky's First Love will premiere on iQIYI and I will update when it comes officially to YouTube. So we all know about the 100 days of broadcasting patriotic shows. It started in August and personally I've noticed the ramp up in these type of productions. Some are subtly patriotic and some are not so subtle, like these military ones. Airborne Blade stars Jia Liang and Frida Lee and it premiered on September 15th. The drama follows a team of paratroopers who push hard to level up and complete different missions. It is available on YouTube and iQIYI. The Ayas stars Kevin Yan and Chris Fan, and it is slated to premiere on September 23rd. The drama tells the story of a group of youths who enter aviation school in preparation for the Air Force. A Chinese Top Gun thing maybe? I wouldn't be surprised. It will premiere on iQIYI and will very likely be available on YouTube. And the reason why I say it'll very likely be available on YouTube is because these patriotic dramas are usually made as available as possible by the distributors. Another example is King of Land Battle, which stars Chen Xiao and Wang Lei, which premiered on August 26th and was available on YouTube shortly after. Additionally, there is Yang Yang's Glory to the Special Forces, which just released some new stills. Yang Yang stars as a budding soldier who must learn the value of teamwork, while Li Yitong co-stars as his colleague. Military dramas are generally not my cup of tea, but as you guys can see, they're getting pushed so actively out there right now. Hopefully when this 100 days of broadcasting ends, we'll get to see some of the costume dramas that we've been waiting so long for. Some happy news for Tiffany Tang fans, she's announced she's pregnant. On September 19th, Tiffany posted on Weibo, heart plus heart equals gift, to which her husband Luo Jing reposted and added the message sharing our happiness with everyone. Since time the not last October, the couple have been surrounded with pregnancy rumors, which have either been straight out denied or just not responded to. But I suppose it was just a matter of time, I mean you can only conceal a pregnancy for so long. There have been pictures of her on set and in public with a baby bump, and the speculation is that she's around 5 months in. Whatever the case may be, a huge congratulations to one of the royal couples of Chinese drama. I recently came across a post on Weibo and I wanted to share it with you guys because I found it insightful. The post is made by a producer named Yu Zheng, and in it he explains some of the underhanded tactics used in the Chinese entertainment world against rising stars who are considered rivals. First, a little bit about Yu Zheng. Yu Zheng is a Chinese screenwriter and producer whose recent works include Arsenal Military Academy, Legend of Haolan, and the super successful story of Yanxi Palace. 
He has won screenwriting awards in China and overseas, most notably perhaps for Palace, the 2011 costume drama starring Yang Mi and Feng Shaofeng. His studio, Yu Zheng Studio, represents stars like Wu Jingyan, Xu Kai, Nian Yuan, and Mi Ru, which of course explains why we see these actors appear together regularly in dramas. I also need to point out though that even though he has the respect of many in the Chinese entertainment circle, he also has the disdain of many. If you look at his Wikipedia page under controversies, you'll see he has an entire rap sheet of them. These range from verbal attacks, which ironically is part of what his Weibo post is about, to physical attacks, to plagiarism accusations, of which there are plenty of. Anyways, just wanted to give you guys an idea of who we're talking about here. An obviously accomplished producer whose tactics are questionable to say the least. So this is what he said on Weibo regarding tactics typically used against rising stars. He said there are four. One, marketing accounts. These are social media accounts that are typically paid by a rival to spread hate. Two, the rivals themselves. Suppose there's a commercial starting a shoot. The rivals will spread hate about the rising star, swaying the client to choose their talent instead. Three, the investors. If a show fails, the investors will pick on an actor to blame. For example, an actor who didn't attend a publicity event. This way, not only does blame get assigned, but it brings additional publicity to the show. And four, fellow actors. Fellow actors who see a rising star as a rival will take any chance to knock them down. Supposedly, these are the tactics used in the Chinese entertainment circle to spread hate. And to put it mildly, I think it's childish, like schoolyard stuff. Oh, so-and-so's got a crush on a girl I like. Time to spread some malicious rumors about him because he's competition. I mean, granted, these things happen everywhere, in the office, at school, in politics, but it doesn't change the fact that it is heinous. Yu Zheng did have this piece of advice for rising actors, which is to ignore the haters and don't argue. Simply being yourself and doing your own thing is the best way to fight back. Whatever people might think of Yu Zheng, I must say that that is some positive advice that will go a long way to preserve a rising star's longevity if they can follow it. This post also made me think about some recent controversies, particularly the whole Yang Mi thing with the unhappy fans. Were they genuine fans or was it just something concocted by a rival studio? Suddenly the answer is not that clear anymore. And now it's time for me to answer a question from one of you, a fan who supports my channel with a dollar or more by contributing on Patreon. Today's question comes from Michelle Luis Hernandez, who asks, Good morning, I enjoy your updates very much. I watch nothing but Chinese dramas. I was wondering when will Jiang Chao start acting again? Loved Fox Summer. Hi Michelle, since Fox Summer, Jiang Chao has had a couple of dramas premiere. To Love to Heal, which he starred in, and The Legend of Kai Feng, which he had a supporting role. Additionally, he has four other dramas awaiting release. Hero Dog 3, Blood Youth, My Robot Boyfriend, and Once Loved You, Distressed Forever. So you'll probably see him in dramas again soon. Thanks for your question and your support, Michelle. I also want to give shoutouts to T. Songfalls Lam and Oana Camellia, who recently became patrons on my Patreon page. I hope I pronounced your guys' name correct. And before I let you guys go, a quick recap of the dramas with premiere dates. Lucky's First Love will premiere on December 25th. And for the military ones, Airborne Blade will premiere on September 15th, and The Ayas will premiere on September 23rd. And that's it for today guys, this show would not be possible without your support, whether it's through Patreon or simply by watching, subscribing and liking. Thank you all for watching and I hope to see you all next time. Cheers!